Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Vulcan, Smith of the Gods. When the gods of Rome ride chariots across the sky, it is Vulcan that made them. When they reach for weapons to wield in battle, it is Vulcan that forged them. When the very earth rumbles and mountains erupt in searing flame, it is Vulcan's rage that burns. As an infant, so hideous was Vulcan that his disgusted mother, Juno, cast him into the sea. Beneath the waves, a sea nymph, Thetis, rescued the child god and raised him as her own. As Vulcan grew, his natural talents for smithing emerged, and he forged wondrous jewels for his adopted mother. Summoned to a gala on Mount Olympus, Thetis wore Vulcan's glittering gifts, but when Juno discovered Vulcan had made them, she jealously demanded he return to Mount Olympus. Angrily, Vulcan refused. In his stead, he sent a magnificent throne of gold and gems that imprisoned Juno when she sat upon it. Jupiter, Vulcan's father, offered an exchange, Juno's freedom, for the hand of Venus, goddess of beauty. Vulcan agreed. Though his vengeance was served cold, the fire of spite still burns in Vulcan's chest. Unable to truly forgive, he loses himself at the forge. None of the wondrous chariots, jewelry, or weapons he crafts can ever fill the hurt in his heart, but each one is worthy of a god. In Smite, Vulcan is a melee magical tank. Vulcan's passive ability is called Forge. Vulcan transfers a portion of his health and protections to his turrets. Also, when he's in close proximity, his structures regenerate. His first ability is called Backfire. Vulcan blasts a fireball out of his forge, dealing magical damage to all enemies in its path and knocking him back 20 feet. Vulcan's second ability is called Inferno Cannon. Vulcan constructs a cannon that shoots fireballs in a cone that deals magical damage to the target. Vulcan's third ability is Thumper 16. Vulcan constructs a Thumper 16 that deals magical damage and slows enemies in the area. His ultimate ability is called Volcanic Overdrive. Vulcan gains movement, speed, and protection. All of Vulcan's structures fire at a quicker rate and gain significantly higher regeneration. All right, so in our first scenario that we have up for you, Freya is driven back to her tower, and we notice Cupid coming out of the jungle. Cupid uses his ultimate and flutters to try to kill Artemis. Vulcan and Artemis head back to where the Thumper is deployed to cover their escape, and as soon as Cupid is slowed, Vulcan places an Inferno Cannon and goes in for the kill. In this fight, Vulcan notices enemy Ra trying to escape from his teammates, so he uses Thumper 16 and Inferno Cannon to cut off the escape. Ra has no choice but to turn around through the nest so Vulcan activates Volcanic Overdrive to turn him into a sunspot. And finally, what we've got here, Vulcan sees a team fight brewing in the middle lane. He leads off with a Thumper 16 on Kali and Cupid, getting a quick kill. He uses Volcanic Overdrive and then lays down an Inferno Cannon, and that's quickly gone. With the run speed buff from his ultimate, he's able to chase down Kali, who uses Aegis, only to die a second later. Since Vulcan is the Smith of the Gods, it is a fairly good idea to start off with one of his structures, the Thumper 16. It is great for early game farming and for harassing enemy players. After that, you should get the first rank of Inferno Cannon for additional damage. At level 3, you should consider picking up Backfire for escape purposes and to expand your burst capability. From there, the priority should be Volcanic Overdrive, Thumper 16, Inferno Cannon, Backfire. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Vulcan, Smith of the Gods.